Today I will be demonstrating how to perform a routine chest x-ray, which consists of two views, it's a PA and a lateral. I'm going to go ahead and set up my console. We're going to start with the PA, so I'm going to use a KVP of about 110 to 120. We're going to go with 120 today, and a mass of anywhere between 2.5 to 5. I'm going to use 2.5. Okay, I'm ready to set up my tube. We're going to go ahead and detent to the wall at 72 inches for the chest. Right there. We're going to angle the tube 90 degrees. Line it up with the bucky, and we're going to line up the bucky with the tube. For the PHS, I'm going to be using an IR of 14 by 17 to fit the entire chest. We're going to place it crosswise, the green strip on the right side. ready to get my patient. Hi, Natalie? Yeah. Hi, my name's Cameron. I'm from the radiology department. We're taking a couple x-rays today. Can you confirm your last name and date of birth for me? Lopez, June 26, 1988. All right, perfect. Now, before we start, is there any possibility of pregnancy? No. Okay, great. So, what, what's going on brings you in today? Um, I've had this really fast, bad cough for a couple of days. Okay. It's been happening for a couple of days. All right. Well, you know, I'm gonna have you change into a gown before we start. So go ahead. Have you put this on? I'm gonna step out and you let me know when you're ready. Okay. Thank you. Okay, I'm ready. Okay. So first, we're gonna do the PA. I'm gonna have you standing up against this board for me, just like that. Now I'm gonna position the tube real quick. central ray is going to enter at T7, right about the border of the, inf the inferior border of the, the scapula. You want to see about one and a half to two inches of light above the shoulders. I'm going to place my left marker on the left side. the bucky. I'm going to shield the patient. All right, Natalie, can I have you roll your shoulders forward for me? Yeah. Place the back of your hands on your hips. Just like that. Perfect. Okay, we're ready. Okay, Natalie, taking a deep breath for me. Blow it out. Taking another deep breath and hold it. Quick. All right, great. I'm going to remove my IR. I'm going to scan it. I'm going to bring another IR in, place it lengthwise, uh, portrait for the lateral view. I'm going to move my marker opposite side. Okay, now I'm going to have you face me now. Place your left side up against the board. I'm going to have you hold on to this pole for me. Here we go. I'm going to make sure she's not rotated. Central ray is going to enter at T7 again. They want to just drop the IR, the bucky and the tube just about an inch or so. And you want to make sure you see light on both posterior and anterior portions of the bucky. Keep your chin up. Alright, next we're ready to do the lateral. For the technique, it, you keep the KVP about 120. But we bump up the mass to about five. 
All right, Natalie, taking a deep breath for me. Blow it out. Taking another deep breath. Hold your breath. Click. Okay, great. Go ahead and relax your arms. I'm going to remove my IR and scan it and see how the images came out. All right, now that I've scanned my images, I'm going to go ahead and evaluate them to determine whether or not they meet all of the criteria to qualify as a proper diagnostic image. Starting with the PA, we should see the entire lung field from the apices all the way down to the costophrenic angles, as well as the sharp outlines of the diaphragmatic domes and the heart and the aortic arch. We should also be able to count at least 10 ribs. There should be no rotation, which can be determined by the sternoclavicular joints being equidistant from the vertebral column. We should also be able to see the air-filled trachea and the scapula should be projected out of the lung field. Okay, next we have the lateral view of the chest. Here we should see superimposition of the ribs posterior to the vertebral column and there should be no rotation which can be determined by looking here at the sternum. Once again we should clearly see the entire lung field from the apices all the way down to the costophrenic angles as well as sharp outlines of the diaphragm. The arms and the soft tissue should be clearly out of the way, not overlapping the superior aspect of the lungs, and the hilar region should lie in the center, and we should be able to see open thoracic intervertebral spaces.